Okay, so a lot of you guys are asking about Hulugan Falls. Where is Hulugan Falls? Um, that's a good question. It's actually just a two to three hour ride from Metro Manila. Hello. Uh, before we head out, I'm gonna go upstairs and I have a sick dog right now. I have my one of my Maltese dogs is sick. According to the vet, her kidney is already 80% damaged. The schedule is really tight. I'm gonna try to give her some medication. So today I have to go to Makati and fix two condo units that I'm actually putting out for Airbnb. So I'll tell you guys all about that trip that I had in Hulugan Falls and hopefully you guys can pick up some information that might be useful when you guys try to visit that place. Okay, so as with a lot of our trips, we get up early in the morning at around 4 to 4.30 in the morning and we get our stuff ready and we leave our place at around 5 o'clock. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. The trip was going to take two to three hours by car from Metro Manila. And I'm talking about from the south. We were looking for a place that's just within reach, within two to three hour drive from Metro Manila. Something that's not so far. You know, we just needed a quick uh, break, a quick getaway from the city. I found out that it was possible to do it on a day trip. So as some of you guys know, um, I do Airbnb rentals. Uh, I've been doing this for about 15 years now. So there comes a lot of times where I have to prepare and fix a unit so that it can be listed in Airbnb. I am in Greenbelt, Madison. I like this building. I got this place in 2014 and Still one of my favorites. Okay. Let's turn on the breaker. There you go. What the freak? And now look at the walls. I think they must have put something like a divider that would do damage to the wall like that. I have the whole day to stay here, actually just a couple of hours so I can um, return back to my dog, Ali, as you guys saw earlier. I need to give her medication. Okay. Man, man. Yeah, this one's a lot cleaner. Looks like it's easier. I just need to put some sheets. All right, let's do that. Okay, once you arrive in Luciana, Laguna, you're gonna go to Barangay San Salvador. And once you're in San Barangay San Salvador, you're gonna go to the Barangay Captain's house. Thank you. That's where you're gonna pay your entrance fee, which is 40 pesos. Pang beginner hike lang din to, no? Opo, sir. Hindi naman Hindi siya yung uh, advance na, no? Oh, yun lang yung ang nagiging ano lang, sir. Ay kapag may medical condition, nahihirapan mag-trek pa akyat. And you can also, if you bring your car, you're gonna pay, uh, I think, 20 pesos when we went there. We prefer taking the car because uh, we have a lot of stuff, like our food, extra clothes, towels. We didn't want to carry that during the hike, so... We brought the car so we could leave our stuff there and it was just so much more comfortable doing that. Okay. May shower pala sila dyan. Saka medyo maganda yung trail. Uh, compare pag maulan, pag raining season, kaya ka mahirap sir. Oh. Nalabog ang paas. Once you're at the barangay captain's house, they're gonna talk about the safety, what to do, what's not allowed, and what to expect. And then they're going to basically give you a brief orientation of what's gonna happen during your hike.
uh, you have the choice of doing the three falls. There's three falls there. There's the major attraction, the main attraction, which is the Hulugan Falls. And then there's also Talai Falls. And then there's also Hidden Falls. So you can do the tour uh, by visiting all three, or you could just choose to visit one of them. Taray Tanay. Talay. Talay. When we went there, we thought it was uh, it was better to just do all three of them since we're there only once. Our tour guide basically charged us 500 pesos. Uh, one tour guide is good for five to nine persons. There was only two of us. Ah, kaya na hasimento. Kasi pag rainy season sir maulan, maputik yung lupa. So kailangan ano? Okay, so now here is the TV. Got the internet set up. It gives about 60 Mbps, and I think that's sufficient enough to play some Netflix. So basically, that's all I need just to get the Netflix started. Going. All right. Okay. Ah, it's my third back and forth. Given that it's a holiday, there's still no parking available, so I have to walk this far. Makati, Makati. So I just finished cleaning up two condo units. Actually, I uh, let me rephrase that. I didn't finish but I'm finished for the day. I'm done for today. There's still a lot of stuff to do. Um, one unit is almost ready to be rented out for Airbnb, but the other unit is where I put all the junk in. And I'm tired and I'm gonna head home now to my doggy. I'm gonna see you guys over there. I think I'm gonna call it a day here in Makati. Indicate po talaga siya sir, maliit lang siya, maliit lang mahiga dito, kunin ko lang, ito po. Uy, hinawa ka mo. Hindi po yung daan, ayan sir, ayan. Nakabilog lang siya. Makati na? O, makati po siya. Mga dito, tumigyan lang yung free kayo. Okay, so the car got a little bit messy from all the stuff that I brought here yesterday from the condo and um, back to Hulugan Falls. Um, the place is, it's about 70 meters high, and about, which is about 230 feet high. Uh, back in the days when a lot of animals would fall from it, um, people started referring to it as the place where a lot of things fall. So, so in, in Filipino, in Tagalog, it'll be called Hulugan. Therefore, it got its name Hulugan Falls. And it just carried out throughout time. So the place opened around 2015 and it just recently got accredited with a DOT because during pandemic a lot of those stuff got delayed um, which was still limiting a lot of uh, movements from the tourists. So now that they've got all their paperwork and all their regulations in place, even tour guides are registered and stuff, it has it's starting to pick up and become more popular. Back to our trike. 